Hello, Georgie B back again. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This card I made using the stamp set Honey Bee Home. It's in the new spring and summer catalogue. And I'm only using this um, image here. I don't know what kind of flowers they are. I'm not up on flowers. So that's what I'm going to use there. Um, it's quite a simple card. This I've just, I don't know if you can see it on. There. I've just embossed down and across. So we've got, um, not that one, card base of 5 and 5 eighths by th 3 and 7, 5 and 7 eighths by 4 and 1 eighths. No. Start again. We have a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. Scored at four and one eighth. That'll make it four and one eighth by five and seven eighths. I have a whisper white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And I have two actually. I have the one for the inside which I've already stamped with my little message. And what else? Oh, a little scrap. For the sentiment and also I cut out some little leaves and they were cut out from a blessing from home using a couple of these dies so I shall cut them out as well. These have dies in uh, to go with this set. Um, I think these are just called honeybee dies, which you can buy as a bundle by the way. This was a Christmas present, that's why I got the bundle. Right, let's get started. To start off with, we are going to score. I've got my score, simply scoreboard. And I think you just got that in with my tool. I am going to score at a quarter of an inch, all the way down, five eighths, three quarters. Seven eighths. How many is that? One, two, three, four, and one inch. I'm going to turn it around so that them score lines are at the top, and we're going to go up. I think it's three quarters of an inch, isn't it? Yeah. We're going to go up three quarters of an inch, so we go three quarters of an inch, seven eighths of an inch, one eight, one inch, one and one eighth, and one and a quarter. And that is our scoring done. Of course, you can't. Let's move this out of the way. I don't think you can see that oh, there. Just about see it along and up. And that keeps the scoring on this side. I think I went in a bit further actually. I did. Let's do that again. Lucky enough we've got card cut. So I'm going to put that in there and I obviously went in, I went in three quarters of an inch as well, so three quarters, seven eighths, one inch, one and one eighth and one and a quarter, turn it round and make sure I went three quarters there. 
I did. Three quarters, seven eighths, one inch, one and one eighth, and one and a quarter. That's better. And on this one, I was way over. Can still use that for scraps, right? So that's that done. What we need to do now is our stamping. We we'll bring our flower in. Ink it up. And we're going to stamp that round about there, just so that the flowers don't go on the crease. It should work out about in the middle of your card. And lift up. Nice. In the stamp. I'm going to colour this in. Right, I've got Granny Apple Green Light just to do the leaves. Daffodil to light dark to do the centre of the flowers. And then just pink. It should be pink pirouette, but I re inked it with Blushing Bride. I'm not keen on this flower here having very, very faint lines, but that's the way it is on there. Just very faint lines. You've got the back of the flower. Right, I'm just going over the stems of the flower. to one side. I've got this strip here to do our sentiment and this is just a happy birthday that I've pulled off another stamp set and I'm not sure what stamp set that is because it's loose in my back box so I think it's off a really old stamp set
In fact, that's a different one from the one I used there. I don't mind it or do. I do so much, it's not even straight. It's going to sit there with some little leaves underneath it, which I've got scrap here to cut. So let's cut a couple of these out. I'm using my plate from my sidekick and I'm using tiny dies rather than the great big plates that come with um, this These little leaves what I did I glued one and then stuck the other one onto it and then stuck each one To my label. So I had one sticking up there. Do the same with this one. I could just stick it on. Trim that off. on that and I need to use it. Stick this one in first. And then we're going to stick this on. This one we should get some dimensionals. Nope, wrong box. Not tiny dimensionals for this.
and pop that on like that. Let's pop a couple of gems on it, shall we? Um, I'm going to pop them around here. Just three. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday and Friday for now. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.